holy shit. What's going on? Yeah. I guess the game doesn't really like the title screen at all, so we'll get out of the way right, right ahead. So, alright, so hello everybody, welcome to this final stream of blood. We have one last episode to play, and we're gonna do so right now. This is Cryptic Passage, and we're gonna play on the default difficulty. So, yeah, the thing with this one episode is that this episode was not made by the people at Monolith, but... Uh, wait... Oh, Jesus Christ, I think my stream is going in the background even though I put it on pause, so I don't really know what the hell is going on. Alright. Yeah. How is it possible? It was not even playing. <laughs> well, I'm seeing you underwater picking up remote detonators. So. Yeah. The problem Killing was fish. I was able to see it as well, and that's probably not a good thing. Yeah. I'm not sure how much of a delay there is here still after fiddling with the settings, but uh, it's playing very smoothly and everything, so that's good. Yeah, I think in overall it should go very well. So yeah, the one thing with this one episode is that, well, this is an unofficial episode. It was published by Sunstorm... no, not published. It was developed by Sunstorm Interactive, and you may remember that was the one company that uh, also develop stuff like the uh, the Duke Nukem 3D add-ons, like uh, Duke It Out in DC, Duke in Caribbean, and all of sort of things like that. So, yeah, all in all, that's another good thing that they did because, in overall, not it's anything I can say I've ever played. <laughs> Old FPSs are very much outside of my frame of reference. Yeah, <laughs> especially PC ones. Also, God, people, don't watch DSP. I'm watching him so that you don't have to. But why are you watching DSP? Uh, I'm bored at work, so it's like, I need something to do while I wait for customers, so... Yeah, that's pretty much the story of my life. Jade Star has 14 hour long streams recorded on his Twitch page. Go watch those instead. <laughs> So yeah, the one thing that I really like with this episode and overall is that at least it tried out to do stuff that the regular episodes didn't attempt to do. It's definitely a whole lot more inspired than uh, the Plasma Pack, which for the most part was a pretty forgettable set of levels. Even though in overall, the, well, there's still a couple of rough spots there and there, but... In overhaul, I, t I still think that it's a whole lot better. Yeah, and at least this one episode doesn't waste any kind of time to give you good weapons right ahead. Oh, hello. I didn't see you coming. Yeah, I think that's definitely the... Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess thank you, Cultist, for making this uh, a whole lot faster. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, shit. Did you just kick a guy's head flying? Yes. After you killed him? Yes. Oh, that's actually a really neat feature for something like yeah, this. Yeah, it's old. like there's a whole lot of games that have some uses for a physics system. The main use of the physics system in this game is to make heads bounce around. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, at its age, I'm just amazed that there's a physics system. Yeah, for a build engine, it's, it's definitely pretty cutting edge. Uh, yeah, it's... Sure it's... is. Oh my god, I got blindsided by cultists. That threw TNT in my face and therefore I died. Oops, we're gonna have to redo this a little bit. Uh, and while I'm at it, I'm probably gonna. If they re release the this game nowadays, they're. Yeah, sorry, I was saying if they re release this game nowadays, there would be totally be an achievement for kicking a head from one end of a level to another. Uh, I don't like the this game. Half Life 2, but it's, with a head. 
It's fine like it is, don't remake this game. Yeah, if anything, just make it work well in modern OSs, and that's pretty much all that we're gonna ask from you. Oh yeah, like a uh, uh, version that runs on Windows 7 and has like higher res textures, that'd be great. Oh yeah. Higher res textures... Wouldn't that just... I don't know. Well, we have a high res texture mode and it's called... SVGA. <laughs> can't you just can't you just play this in Z Doom? Nope. Because that's not a Doom engine game. Oh, it looks like. Nope, this is the build engine. That's the uh, Duke Nukem engine, isn't it? Yep. A pretty upgraded version of it. Oh man, it's like you should stream Duke Nukem 3D. Yeah, probably. That might be the next thing that I do. And the and those packs that were made by these guys. Didn't you stream like the best extension to Duke Nukem 3D? Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, because uh, during the time of Christmas, I did a stream of uh, Duke Nukem Nuclear Winter. The stream pretty much ended up being a catastrophe, and that's pretty much understandable because this game is garbage. Oh, and before we go any further, all right. I don't. Really it's sold on Steam now, don't you know? Yeah. After all that time. Ah. Okay. I almost got surprised the same exact way. But at least this time it did not happen. It... Wait. How did you go there? Ugh. I don't know. I guess I'm not gonna figure it out, but. I figure at this one point I still want to go over here because there is a shit ton of ammo that I missed uh, and that I'm probably gonna want again. Oh my god, yeah, I definitely need this armor too. Did you save? Yeah. You this time goddamn I... casual. <laughs> Rude. Well, I'm sorry if I don't want people to watch me blunder all of the time. More so that this is also a level set that... Uh, more so this is a level set that I don't really remember at all, so... I'm definitely going to need uh, come out, a little come hand out. in the door Here making this happen. And it also doesn't help that this is a pretty hard game overall. This is not your baby's FPS. That's your mama's FPS? Not your baby's FPS. <laughs> I don't know, given how old this game is, it might actually be your mama's FPS. Your grandpa's FPS? This game nah, your grandpa's FPS your is... Grandmother, and finally she wanted you dead. Probably Wolfenstein. Is that the first FPS? Uh... Wait, can you... Yeah, bring no. it on. Hey, I don't know. You see? This is why know. we are superior to Duke Nukem. In Duke Nukem Forever, you could electrocute yourself to death with an electric socket. And now we can't. I think Duke, uh, Wolfenstein was the second FPS. I mean, if you want to go back to like the, the primitive ages, there was Battlezone. Yeah, and I think that was, that was uh, the first yeah, one. Oh yeah, that, that vector uh, nightmare. Okay, who the hell keeps dynamite in the fridge? Uh, the important zone is was great. Wait, is that not where it goes? Uh, I don't know. Usually, I keep it in the furnace. Well, that's where it explodes. So that, yes, and that's what I want to happen because I like fun. No, but I mean, if you want to keep it for later, you don't put it in the furnace. You put it where it stays cool. Oh, and we even have a poopy hole over here. I did it, see I, on TV I once think... that apparently when you freeze nitroglycerin, it uh, it becomes less volatile. So you would, in fact, want to keep your dynamite in the freezer. Oh yeah, that's how it works. Now that there's nitroglycerin in dynamite. The main reason I'm here, the main reason I jumped in, the uh, people have to know, okay. are you going to play Redneck Rampage next? Speaking of Redneck Rampage, look at this brand, this incredible brand of beer that we have over here. 
We have beer which is being drank by wolves. You're not wolves. answering the question. Holy crap. Blood beer. Yep. Oh my god, I'm... that drink is metal as hell. I want it. <laughs> oh wow. You gotta answer the question, Sai. Oops. Yep. Yep, you're playing it? <laughs> I I don't know, that beer is no la fin du monde. <laughs> As the chat says, my grandpa's FPS was World War II. <laughs> oh. Ooh, it's, it's a bit on the that's edge. That's a little grim. <laughs> well, you know, uh, actually, yesterday, um, going through Montreal, I just walked by a homeless person with a sign that said, um, I helped avoid World War Three. <laughs> and I was, I, I was a bit confused. Good for him. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess. Wait, there's Tesla cannon ammo in the first level. Holy shit! Does that mean there's a Tesla cannon in this level? Oh, you know it's a good add-on when it has a Tesla cannon in the first level. Yeah. That's how you go to that other place. Is that a fishing rod? Can you take it? Nope. This game sucks. <laughs> Whoa! Not it everything does not appeal to my fishing, fishing senses. You can't, you can't... They put a fishing rod and you can't take it. How is this a good game? I'm sorry, but this is not Dark Souls. You can't pick up everything. You, you can't pick up everything in Dark Souls. There are things you cannot pick up. Well, you can pick up rubbish, alright? <laughs> Did you hear? The next Assassin's Creed is going to be in the French Revolution. Which one? There's been a lot of them. No, the next one. The, the one that they're going to make in the series is No, going no, to... I mean which French Revolution? The main... The... <laughs> The one from 1789. Uh, the one that everyone thinks of when you say French Revolution. Yes, the big one. The one that when you say French Revolution, a French person would think, oh, oh that one. Are we now playing XCOM? Are we playing that mission with the chrysalids now? That mission, like there's only one. Oh, there's not enough snow. Wait, I heard an enemy. Don't see you. I've got two guns. That should be enough for all of you. Oh, okay. Oh, that's because there's a shark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe... Oh man, that shark! The shark owns! Yeah, they also made a lot of, uh, of, of brand new artist sets for this game. Well, not this game, but this one episode, which is another reason to like it. More content! This one is not lazy compared to the plasma pack. Jesus, that guy's got some really strong angles. Yeah, he is. Yeah, check out those gams. Ah, Jesus I mean, Christ, this... this game is taunting me now. Oh, Malaya. Just showing you plenty of ammo you can't use. Yeah. Okay, so what exactly does this one switch to? Just trigger the lighthouse, but oh, uh, wait, I oh, know that's where I came from. Duh. Duh. All right. uh, oh, okay. Where did you come from? Ah, here we go. I gotta say, however, so far, the game really enjoys monster closets. Wait, can I step on that? Okay, I thought for a second that this was a pit. Okay, that should be hit for this one part, and probably will be hit for this level as well, unless that... Oh, okay. I'm just gonna remember where the exit was. I'm really bad at direction. Uh, oh, hello! 
That's a the lot exit of is clearly just climbing up into the shark. There we go. The next level is just you reenacting Jaws. <laughs> I wouldn't be holding you with that. It's time for the street sharks to get their revenge. But street the sharks! revenge won't be easy. Street sharks! Oh, I thought for a second you said oh. street jorts. <laughs> street that was, jorts. That was one hell of a cartoon. Street jorts. Like, yeah, it's 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 more, first of all, it's this is actually pretty damn lengthy. Content. Also, god damn, they really don't want you to run out of ammo ever. Oh well, not gonna complain. That's good. That's a good. That's a good way to have one of these uh, crazy shoot 'em up games. Was there ever a Street Sharks game? I don't know. It would be, um. I don't know, probably one of those, like, um. Okay. Ah, side scrolling beat em ups, wouldn't it? I think we had one. Uh oh. Wait, holy shit, we're all the way back to the beginning. How oh, do you really built up this entire place? Oh yeah, and I always like the end of these levels because usually they always give you a sneak preview of what the next level is going to be like. Oh yeah, that's right, this level. This is like the one level in the episode where I always get lost. In this game we now have an opera house. I gotta say, I, I really like the way that they did their little street over here. pretty nice, it kind of reminds me of Duke Nukem 3. Alright, give me all of your tickets, please, because I am the new keeper of this opera house. Oh, and we even seems get to be a bit of a seems to be a bit of an odd place for an opera house, to be honest. Right next to the gates to the old fishing village, but fair enough. Maybe these fishermen just are really like. Uh, no. No, they just like the theater, just, okay? They're just yeah, very... The... They support the arts. Just because they're fishermen doesn't mean they're not cultured. Yeah, they like no, that's the exactly what it means. <laughs> Excellent. I suppose as long as they're not bringing the shark to the opera house. Oh, that would hone if they did that. Well, why not? The shark wants to be cultured too. Yeah, but you're going to get an awful lot of blood on the velvet. Ah, uh, we can go. Do you know how room. hard it is to get blood out of velvet? Ah, uh, I thought for a second I was being clear. Oh, okay. Too bad. I kind of like the high, the idea that I had in going to the. Uh, the weapon shot again. Oh, well. Yeah, holy shit, you're not running out of ammo in this game. Holy shit. Ah. Unfortunate. Ah. Well, this isn't Resident Evil. Yep, yeah, we gotta put in a kerosene onto every single one of these zombies so that they don't rise in. Well, that, that game is great. Shut up. <laughs> I need a key. You know, I'm gonna, I've been... uh... Sorry. I'm, 
I'm gonna LP the original Resident Evil, and you're gonna be my co-commentator, and you're gonna love it. <laughs> You know, you say that. You say that, yeah. but... but I, what? I was, I was thinking about... I was, sorry, I was, I was just thinking about it there. Perfect asshole. Like, huh? even though, like, ammo is really, really scarce, like, can get really scarce in Resident Evil, I think there was only... There's only the first fight with the Tyrant in Code Veronica is the only... Bit where it actually becomes unwinnable if you don't save ammo. Hey, ammo isn't that scarce. If you know what you're doing. Alright, is this it? Alright, fine. Oh shit, that was hard. Now, let's hope that I see. Long enough in order for me to be able to do anything. God, this is so dark. In Japan, Resident Evil was called Doki Doki Panic. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my joke, that's uh, the other film. And finally, you had to beat the game four times. Whoever's joke that is, it's a good joke. It's, it's not. Yeah, I'm a fill in the chat. Why can't I switch? It's a classy class. Because you're a French Canadian. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Racist. Oh, hello. That's a secret passage. Uh, and so far, that's also another good sign of a good expansion. There is no freaking choking hands yet. But there's kind of one minus in this level. Hi. Oh! Okay, the key was right here. It was kind of hidden. And I say kind of. Here we go. Now, one last thing. Can I play the piano? Play Moonlight Sonata. Nah, unfortunately, it just speaks whenever you touch the piano. Oh, well. Some people Aww. are poor. Some people are The game doesn't feature you playing the entirety of Freebird. The <laughs> worst game ever. <laughs> I'm not here in order to play Freebird. And yeah, that was my play kind of Freebird. 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 Oh! Okay. Oh my god, did you see that wa What the fuck?! Oh my god! That bot is fucking amazing! <laughs> what are you gonna play? What is that, man? <laughs> what? <laughs> Blood, game of the year! <laughs> Man, that pot just doesn't want to die. That pot won't quit. God damn! This is fucking great. I love it. Did they did they forget to make that pot breakable? <laughs> nah, it, it was made this way by design. Totally. Design is law. Oh god, you psych! You have to lead enemies in here. Lead enemies in here and see if you can ricochet the pot off their skulls. I unfortunately doubt it's the game. It might be time to no, The game doesn't have like damage from. Yeah, I'm not sure if it does. I really don't know. Probably not. Yeah, a bit of stretch. We need if it did, but it's probably asking too much from a game like this.
It has infighting, which not enough games have these days. Yep. I mean, Duke Nukem 3D has good as, as it is, doesn't have it in fighting at all. Uh, does, uh, does Ground Zeroes have uh, in fighting? Um, you know, you if, joke? Like, if an enemy If an enemy shoots a rocket at you and you're with other enemies, does the rocket kill his companions? Well, yeah, the friend, it would friendly fire, but their companions wouldn't shoot back. But, uh, I did see, I guess, accidental? In fighting, where uh, this guy was driving a jeep around, Oops. and uh, a guard was patrolling across the road, and the guard patrolling the road did not look both ways before he crossed the road, and his buddy in the jeep <laughs> ran him down. Uh, that sounds more like stupid AI. And then, and then the guy got out of the jeep and it examined the body, and it didn't like go into alert mode or anything. He just got back in the jeep and left. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. So, oh, uh, there's a bite. Uh, I didn't do it. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm. There, there are rumors of the a spy on the base. Maybe, maybe we'll just write this one off. It wasn't me. It was the spy. <laughs> well, of course he doesn't go into an alert mode. He knows he killed him. Oh. Why would he go into alert mode for somebody he knows he shot him or ran away? Well, it could, have been, it could have been a case where the AI doesn't realize they killed right, him. Right, typically when the AI sees a body, they go into alert mode, but... Uh-oh. But in this case, he just... Oh yeah, of course, just... that, that would be the way it works. It's not based on, like, who shot. But apparently, if a dude kills his friend, <laughs> there's no alert. That's a neat touch. Yeah, that's yeah, that's actually really nice. Thank you, Kojima. Or whoever programmed the AI, I guess. And I don't, I don't know. Speaking of neat touches, the opening cutscene has two dogs that show up for a grand total of like ten seconds. And not only did they mocap the dogs, they used two different dogs to do the mocap. For dogs oh, that show damn. Uh, for for for, for five for like ten seconds of dog. Well, you know, maybe maybe those dogs will show up again in Phantom Pain. Well, maybe. Also, like, apparently, the way they did, not necessarily uh, the same character dogs, but the same mocap dogs. Maybe I, I, I will keep an eye out for the Phantom Pain credits and see if I can see those dogs again. My my favorite like little touch from the Metal Gear games was always the ice cubes in MGS Two. Like those two little ice cubes that you can spill out on the desk and they'll slowly melt and slide around in real time. And it's like, what? That's not that hard to make. I mean, that's a nice touch. Well, it was uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 and yeah, I got there was well, also yeah, like the little touch where ice cubes closer together would take longer to melt than ice cubes farther apart. There was like yeah. this whole algorithm for ice cubes. Yeah, there was like, well, it was I mean... ridiculously detailed. The ice I, I wouldn't... and it never comes into play unless you deliberately try to trigger it. Yeah, unless you knock well, over I mean, a bucket of ice. I wouldn't call that ridiculously accurate. I, just, I don't know. Maybe your programmer has some time to waste. For a game <laughs> on the PS2, like, man, like even now, it's still pretty. I don't. I don't Ragnar. think the fact that it was on the PS2 really factors in that. Ragnar, you right. say maybe a programmer had time to waste, as if you didn't know that Kojima specifically had a programmer do that. I, yeah, I don't know. I know that Kojima is crazy. I just don't know how much. So, who wants to go read? Um. No. Well, too bad, okay. because we are totally doing that. We're going to the library. I'm okay. I'm okay with reading. It's just not with you. <laughs> it's a very specific hang up there, Regni. Oh, okay, okay, that's starting to be a lot of people. Yeah, so far, do I? So far, do I? Uh, oh, thank you! <laughs> Friendly fire is always the best kind of fire. Oh, okay. Invulnerability. Okay. That kind of came suddenly. Too bad I have nothing to do with it. Jesus Christ. I, I need stuff to kill. 
I'm both invisible and invulnerable, and there's unfortunately nothing I can do right now to kill anything because I don't know where anything is. <laughs> Okay, that's yeah, kinda... chat. You're like you're, you're like joking about it, but I would not be at all surprised if like the new Metal Gear games had real-time beard growth. Like if they actually went and did that instead of just wanting to do it. Uh, oh my well, goodness! You know, like Look, Deadly, Deadly Premonition, Premonition do it. has. Oh man, yeah, me and Ragni have the same idea. I mean, I think Swery just beat Kojima to the punch. I think there's no point in doing it now. Well, I mean, Kojima is obviously ripping off Deadly Premonition wholesale with the uh, smoke to make time go pa faster mechanic in Phantom Pain. Oh. Kojima is old. It's old swery now. <laughs> Kojima is so has been. <laughs> God, can you imagine Deadly Premonition done by Kojima? No, I'd rather not. I'd rather Metal Gear done by Swery. Can we just cross them over just for a little bit? I don't think it would be necessary. I, sorry, I shouldn't say cross them over. Like, swap them around. Just have them switch dev studios. For a project. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no. Just to see what happens. Just, just let them do what they want to do. Well, in the case of Kojima, he's kind of stuck making Metal Gear games, I guess. If you just let Kojima do whatever he wants to do, I think, like... Maybe you would get a Metal Snatcher Gear game? <laughs> oh, boy. I kind of remember this room being just the epitome of where the hell must I go kind of place, but... What the hell did you have to do here? I remember there was a switch, but where the hell was it? You have 20 minutes left. <laughs> One hour, 20 minutes left. No, I said I would uh, do it earlier this week. Oh, okay. I totally didn't know that. <laughs> That's fine, I don't care. Owned. You have some kind of... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of a hard switch to find, however. This, I gotta say, is kind of dumb. I'm streaming some XCOM every week. Oh, yes, of course. Here we go, we're now in the manager's Stop. office. And yeah, they wanted it to be so protected that even the front door doesn't work. Instead, you have to go through the secret passage in the library. Hell yes. Oh man, Grand Cheater. Life is beautiful on the ladder scene. Somebody who knows video editing, go and do that right now. That's not very difficult. It would be difficult for me. He doesn't know anything about video editing. I, I yeah, okay, I'll do it. Yay! Yeah, what do shit. I do? This level is find the switch, the level. Take the ladder scene from uh, MGS3, but instead of uh, Snake Eater, it's playing Life is Beautiful from Deadly Premonition. Oh. Sure. Ah. Going by his tweets, if you let Kojima do whatever he wanted, he would make a game where you photograph food with Guillermo del Toro. Uh, oops, okay, I suddenly caught on fire, so I guess there was a dog that I did not see. No, no, food and butts. Cook serve delicious, but with Guillermo del Toro? Yes! Guillermo del oh, Toro on fire bouncing side. a plate on his yep. butt. <laughs> The game! You, I you didn't got... see that there was a dog. You were on fire. Yo, where are the street sharks? Yeah, I have only seen one in this episode. In the 90s, where they belong? Oh, 
Oh god, it's a rat! Oh, okay, the dog is... Ah, uh, oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, either this episode is really hard, or I really don't remember this episode at all. And I'm pretty much gonna vote for the latter, because I don't even remember when was the last time I played this episode. In 1899. That seems like a pretty random thing. Damn, Psych, you old! To be fair, it'd be pretty amazing to get this game rolling on a Babbage's Difference engine. <laughs> right, where the hell is the last jerk? I'm still hearing a guy. Oh well, screw that, I don't have time. Is the dog following me? Ah! Oh god! Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, this room is kinda hard. There's a lot of cultists and there's not a single shred of health anywhere in it. So, if I knew that was gonna happen, I probably would have saved my invulnerability for this one room. Because holy shit, it's kind of hard. At this point, I don't even know if I should bother with this one. I have five health and. Yep! Alright. It's time to do this fight properly. Oh, okay. That's kind of a random place to have a room. Ah. Right, where the hell is that jerk? I'm hearing a cultist jerk! into this freaking room, what the hell? Oh, this is your link, Ground Shooter. They just keep... They just keep appearing like Ocus. It's like, I'm not gonna lie, it just sort of looks like you're going around in circles in this level. Everything looks... exactly the same. <laughs> well, if I could stop dying every two seconds, hopefully we'll be able to solve that problem. God damn it. Grand I have I love one you. health. Uh, all right, give me something already, cheese. Okay, now where the hell was the next stop? I'm pretty sure I have to go on the upper floor. Oh, I was on the upper floor. Oh, thank God, health. Woo wee. Ah. Okay, good thing that I had health because I don't think this level is gonna get any easier. Yeah, that's kind of a jerk move to put those two machine gun cultists apart from each other really, really far away. Alright, and that's it. We're finally done with this level. That surely was a hard one. Alright, and now it's the Lost Monastery. It's time to figure out why it was lost. Oh yeah, that's right. It has new things. It has a statue that always follows you. Oh my god! It I can't escape it! Blood! The 
Holy horde! I'm sorry, I, pet, yeah. I I can't. I I was trying to do the nemesis voice, and it just sort of strangled in my throat. Like, <laughs> well, maybe that's how he speaks. Wait, holy shit, these guys drop boxes of TNT? I need a key. I, I gotta say, that's a pretty nice thing. Will they order of commit? Oh, of course, we're in Transylvania. Also, that guy really loves to be everywhere. Are we actually going to fight Dracula in this? I don't know, there's only one way to find out. There are no vampires in this game. Well, there are, and they're called Nets. That's not... whatever. Oh, really? This, however, is one part of the whole design of the expansion that I don't really like. There's a bunch of on switching in some of the levels. Definitely not as straightforward. Oh, can I go there? Oh, okay, that's the place I come from. Duh. All right, this is how you know you're in a magical place. Floating keys! Now somebody should tell the monks that they shouldn't keep all that dynamite stored next to the alcohol. <laughs> I don't know, I perfectly agree with whatever they did. Also, I gotta say, for for level maiden build, that really looks like a nice house. Ah, can't open those. You already get the life leech. That's a pretty nice gesture. And unfortunately, I can't figure out how to open this other door. Ah. You see, I missed this one guy because I had I had a frame rate lag. No, not the frames. Anything but the frames. <laughs> Hello! Buddy the ghosts are brought into the party. No oh, crit intellect, this is a game about blowing up everyone. Oh. Oh, this There's nothing wired. special about the monks. This key is wired to a spider trap. I'm a little disappointed that there aren't going to be any more open betas for Elder Scrolls Online, so I can't live tweet my misery anymore. Isn't that a breach of the whatever contract thing? Nah, the NDA uh, went under a couple of betas ago. Oh. In fact, they were explicitly like, Oh, be sure to take lots of screenshots and share your experience with the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, so I <laughs> did. Did they, did they realize that it was better to advertise it or whatever? I, I don't know. At this but, point, uh, I'm not sure what kind of advertising will make it make it seem like a good game to people. Yeah. I sure as hell shared my experience with Elder Scrolls. Well, I, I think I missed all that. Is it just boring? I know it would be good It's just, yeah, it, it is just boring. It's boring and generic and slow. Oh, yeah, even for an MMO, it's slow. That's an MMO. Tell me, tell me if, you, if this would work. I'm interested. The Elder Scrolls Online. 
we took out the entire game and just put replaced it with Skyrim again. It's and what? Clean it up, big game people would play. Uh, okay. I don't I don't think that's how video games uh, oh, are made oops, for it. I didn't press the right key. You obviously haven't seen have all of the clones on Steam. The build engine. First person view, third person view, I mean. And I have absolutely no clue where I'm shooting. Wait, there's third person in this game? What? Yeah, there's that in every building <laughs> I like that you shoot bullets out of your face. Yep. Oh, he's just he's just barfing bullets. <laughs> They're coming out of his out of my <laughs> You can cry oh my god, what is this? He's like the pain, except instead of bullet bees, it's, it's just bullets. Oh, street dog! So he's not, Woo! he's not the pain. So, so there's your Metal Gear reference. Right, say hello to Street Shark! Street Sharks! And this time the Street Sharks are really in the streets. Street Sharks! Whoa! I need a key. I nice shot with that dynamite. Yeah. I, <laughs> dynamite I is start... the best invention in any game out there. Uh, I was gonna... I wanna go in that well? Okay, I do. I uh, was gonna start streaming XCOM at 9, but I can't find Grassland. So the secret behind the waterfall, and I got too excited. Have you tried the satellite of love? Sometimes she hides in there. There's nobody in there. Why didn't my invisibility go off at that one moment? Oh well. Those sectoids are using Twitch chat, and Grassland must be the most terrifying thing on Earth. Uh, ah, no. All this. I don't want you to do any of your underwater frolics. What? Because cultists in this game are mean business whenever you fight them underwater. Okay, good thing I have gun a Kimbo, but unfortunately I don't think I have I, oh, anything to use God, it on. I, I'd have a really hard time playing this actually with all the, the flickering lights in these caves. That's Like, why are you motorboat? Because... Uh, whoops. They kinda messed up a part of their waterfall. The motorboat and the zombies sack, you're gonna get prey on diseases. Oh my god, will I keep getting all the way back here all of the time? God damn it. Maybe I need to 
stay. Uh, yeah, what the hell? Where must I go? I don't really see. Wait, over here? Ah, here we go. Alright, we better make this water holy. Where the hell am I? Was there... Oh. Okay, I cannot wait to have a grenade launcher, because holy shit, I have a lot of uh, things to use it with. Uh. Okay. That fire means business. Ring a bell! Oh. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty epic ring. Bing! Oh, hello. These are the guardians of the Bell of Awakening. Turns out the bell just starts playing the cucaracha. Ding, 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 ding. Oh yeah, that's right, the next level is that. Holy shit. I completely forgot about that. The next level is La Cucaracha? No, the next level, we're gonna go on a boat. Oh man, I never thought I'd be in a boat. A boat filled with cockroaches? Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah, welcome to the follow-up of what? the Phantom Train. It's the Steamboat. Oh, are you gonna suplex it? <laughs> nah, it's not. It's not a. It's not a ghost boat. Ghost boat. Do you have? Do you have? Just, just like do a quarter circle on your controller, and I think you can do it. <laughs> but I don't play with a controller. I play with a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> Casual. Oh, come on, a real a real gamer nowadays plays with a Steam controller and that weird ass uh, touch thing. I need a key. The weird ass. After weird Al, we've got weird ass. Weird ass touch thing is my metal band name. Oh yes! Yes, 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 yes. Or nickname in high school. Pretty sure weird ass touch thing is actually in the court filings. What? Weird ass touch thing is an obscure DS game from Japan. Is that going to be like another one of these freaking green lighted games that is overly creepy and full of bad writing? It's anything you want it to be. But I don't want it to be that. <laughs> Too bad. Actually, I think it, I think it would be even funnier if it was just a yeah, but like. Do you know where you get those the the, the part of you like you stick your hand in the box and it's full of like grapes and things and people go oh it's eyeballs. It was a game like that that's not any way creepy at all. I think that would actually be funnier than if it. Wait, why am I hearing a zombie swing its axe? What the hell is it trying to attack?
It's a carpenter, he's trying to remodel, and you killed him. Yeah, Grand Cheater has called me out uh, that I am a real gamer. I play with a controller and a mouse at the same time. Oh, so, please, so real, real gamers play you with an Oculus mouse. Rift. Do you do like Vickers and use your feet? No, I, uh, well, I've done this. I actually, that's how I play Mirror's Edge, is, uh, I keep, I have to keep the controller on the desk because I use the left side of the controller to move and then I use the mouse to look. Yikes. Because that's... with Mirror's Edge, I want the fine movement of a controller, but I want to be able to look around fast with a mouse. That's reasonable. It's a little awkward, but it works. I could see, I could see, like, the control scheme. I could use a stick. Like, if you could, I don't know, if you could, uh, have something like the, the Wii nunchuck and the mouse for a game, that could work well. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd totally play Mirror's Edge with the, the Wii nunchuck and a mouse. <laughs> but would you want be... to play Mirror's Edge? Look, it's not, Oculus it's not an Oculus Rift wired directly into your eyeballs, so it's clearly oh, inferior. Hold on. Uh, oh Sony. my god! Control methods, not visual methods. Jesus Christ. Sony, Sony is gonna make a virtual headset soon, aren't they? They uh, showed it off at GDC. So yeah, zombies now come out of toilets. I will never be able to see them the same way. Oh no, yet. poop zombies! Oh god, no! It's that one Stephen King book that I forget the name of. Oh no, it's that guy from Zelda. Um, uh, Majora's Mask. One of the shit weasels. <laughs> uh, I I knew it. it was the, the Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher, that's it. Yes, it had the terrible movie with Morgan Freeman. Wait, well, it had Morgan Freeman. Yeah, Morgan Freeman was like the military commander bad guy in the movie. What? No. Yes! I watched this movie a long time ago, I don't remember this. I'm pretty sure it was Morgan Freeman. Let me look it up! Oh my god, starring Morgan Freeman, what the hell? I knew it was him. Alright, this dog is no longer a danger. Thirty percent on rotten <laughs> tomatoes! <laughs> They're carrying a Velociraptor on this ship. Okay, that was why I was hearing axe sounds. That one zombie was trying to kill that one guy, and because he was running in circles, he was not able to hit him. If only the zombie had a gun. Then we'd <laughs> if have, only. Then if we'd only. have blood two hand. Uh, no, you know what? No. I even whoa, whoa, no. Nope. Blood two. What? Oh yeah, I wish they'd make a, a blood two. I wish there was a sequel to Blood. That'd be great. It'd be really fun if there was a sequel to Blood, Stuck. and, you know, if it existed. Actually, if you had boots of jumping, you will be able to finish this level pretty much instantaneously, because that's where you start, and you can break all of this glass, so you can just jump right to the end right away. Ah, uh, okay, or maybe not because there was still something you needed to do after that, but... Okay, where was the exit again? I forgot. Uh, I think I need to go back to where there was the spider key, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's where you have to go because holy shit, there's now a lot of enemies there.
kind of a random exit. You're on a boat! And the boat right here is not playing kind to me because I'm not too sure what it's expecting me to do. I just flip a switch, but I'm not really sure what it did. Ah, okay. Oh hey, we got our own boat. Alright, so let's get out of here. Oh, and hell yes, I found all of the secrets in all of all for once. Yay. Oh yeah, one other thing to note with the cryptic passage is that it's definitely longer than your typical episode of the game. If you count the secret levels, there are 10 levels to it. Wow. So you better have free time on your hand in order to play through it in its entirety. Yeah, we just... That was what, the third level we just finished? Nah, I think that's that was level 5. I think the vote was like the halfway point. Ah! Come on, die already! Well, with that halfway point, I think I'm going to have to uh, call it here. All right. Because I, I have to be up in the morning, so. Uh -oh. Later, Fargo. Yeah, later, Fargo. Good night, everyone. May you find sweet puppies in your dream. Oh, I don't need to. I've got uh, my dog sleeping yeah. up here next to me. I don't actually need to find him. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Now, dear viewers, can you also find the puppies of your dream? Yeah, this first level, this level really reminds me of the first level of the game, but definitely an extended version. It's definitely the biggest graveyard you've ever seen. There's yeah. someone say puppies. Puppies. Oh, a wild G up appeared. My head hurts. Hello. Hey, G pop. G up. G pop. G pop. G pop is my favorite genre of music. Mm-hmm. I get stuck in your head. <laughs> right, get in here, you little ghost. Alright, we've got the first key of this level. I'm gonna say right now, this is being a pretty straightforward level for a change. So, you're playing Blood, I see you're, you're in a graveyard, that's rather, rather fresh for this game. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I don't think this is the most creative level of the episode. <laughs> we're gonna deal with what we have. Okay, so we need a new level idea. Okay, so you're you're in a graveyard. Okay. And they're they're crypts. Yeah. Uh it, have, um I don't mean to be that guy, but have well, we already done, done a graveyard? There's 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 also there are also tombs that have um more freezer doors? I think I think we did that too. Um well, this level is also going to have rats and flat skeleton textures on the walls. Uh, this is all sounding really familiar, guys. I really think we should maybe try something different. Nah, this level is perfectly fine. All right. Greenlit. <laughs> <laughs> this level has zombies. Greenlit. Uh, Freaking rat ass. 
At least it's a good thing that I'm pretty much finding the keys left and right. I have a somewhat good intuition about all of it. Wait. Nice. Uh, ah, what the fuck? Okay, why the hell was there cultists in the water pit? Why not? Well, they're, they're having a ritual, you know? I'm, Don't judge. I'm not really sure that drowning in the a... psych, you have to be tolerant of other people's religious practices. I mean, if they want to have a... They want to sacrifice goats in the well, then that's their thing. Yeah, but he was just sacrificing himself, not the goat. Well, maybe you already sacrificed the goat. You didn't see a goat in there, so... There you go. <laughs> I don't see a problem in my logic. Uh, 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 okay. I was running straight for the next water pit, but at least I got put out before I could find it. Uh, oh, oh no, I got squished by the door! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, Build those dogs are terrible. Man, that's just adorable. Hmm. For some reason, I started picturing a John Romero game where you could get caught in the door by your ponytail getting caught in it. <laughs> John Romero was saying it's a real life situation. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Die, you freaking bastard! There we go. All right. Yeah, holy shit. There's a lot of variation of variation to these trees. Oh no, I thought I was going to squish a zombie under the door, but unfortunately it did not work. Ah, my god, I can't even kill the freaking spider with my with my patented flare gun shot that pretty much kills everything that you see. No, oh, no, a rat! I love the light bleach. He's just like, hey, buddy, what's going on? Uh, no, it's no, almost no. like the spider did a dodge animation there around the shotgun blast. Like it stood up on its tippy toes at one spot. Then kind of duck down. Okay. Heavy artillery. I always love that little skull weapon in this game. It's got such a doofy little happy face. Yeah, it's pretty classy. Hi, guy. How you doing? Hello. I'm Jolo. I'm here to serve you. Every skull looks happy. My health burning into eternal damnation. I can heal you if you kill a bad guy with me. But at least you did it in the first batch. Also, I want you to kill! My oh, uh, oh my god, I can't believe what? I got f killed by a freaking fat zombie of all the things. There's still an eyeball in the skull. Yep. That's the psychedelic That's what makes one. him look so happy! Oh my the god! He's looking at you, kid! <laughs> it's a living! <laughs> ah! That's actually the face I make whenever I tell a pun as well. The more I eel face. Yep. That's me in about a hundred plus years. 
My prognosis is that you're going to look really weird. I thought my teeth really looked better than that, but... You know, well, a hundred years does things to your health. What can you do, you know? Yes. Oh, hey, I just got an email saying that, uh, that Psyche is streaming. Good to see that Twitch is as reliable as it's ever <laughs> Yeah, wasn't it here? Nah, that's not where the secret exit is. I remember you needed to go in fire, but which was the fire? Oh, thank God! Holy shit! Elf is um, the most precious thing in the world in this game. One of my friends on Twitter retweeted a Twitter account that is called Zorak God of Fuck. God of fuck. God of fuck. I... Hmm. It's not Zorak, it's just a different person. It's the God of fuck. You better respect. I'm gonna retweet that. Ah. Too many cultist jerks, I hate these guys. Honestly, this is why the first episode is probably harder than most of the other episodes, because it's pretty much made only of these jerks and nothing else. There's an Egyptian symbol. Ah, okay. Over there. Ah. And of course he went into water. All right. You know what? I'm not even gonna take a risk. Mining the way. All right. Oh, I got a street shark. Street sharks! Ah, oh, no. And I didn't get the f one thing that I wanted. Oh, my God. So I really hate going underwater because it's so fucking dark. Switch do just trying to see if it did anything because I can't look at it at all because it's too freaking dark underwater. Ah. The healing thing put out the morning. I remember that how to eat a watermelon video. That was that was interesting. What, is that a known thing? Yeah, it was a video. It, it was a really popular video. I've never heard of it. It's it's oddly entertaining. I kind of like it because the guy kind of kind of has a very dry sense of humor and occasionally just says little funny things. He reminds me of my grandpa. It's kind of like oh. <laughs> Although my grandpa was not very particular on how to eat watermelons, I don't think. Wrong with my control because I can barely play Oh god! Oh my god! Three sharks are back with a fucking vengeance! Oh, well. And I 
didn't save in quite a while because hey I had low health all of that time and I just wanted to make sure I was not gonna screw myself over. Why the hell didn't I press the switch out of that? It kinda seems like a random how you do this. So there was only like one street shark underwater and I somehow managed to f to just get it by accident in the water. Oh and yeah, fun thing about the fed zombie is if you duck they will never be able to hit you ever. Well, I mean, they're really fat. It's hard to hard to kneel down because you know you don't know if you're gonna be able to get back up. It's hard to see anything under your belly. Guy probably hasn't seen his feet in years. Plot twist. Plot twist. The dude isn't undead at all. He's actually just a trucker. <laughs> they they usually don't dress too well. No, no, we're not playing Redneck Rampage. I tell you, the truckers I've seen, oof, they're all sorts R of people. Redneck Rampage. Oh, Ragney, you don't. Do you it's know another build Redneck engine Rampage? game? It's a good one. Well, no, not really. It's terrible, but it's 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 a very good. One. I don't think I've played many. Uh, games in this engine. Psych, have you ever played Redneck Rampage uh, or Redneck no, Rampage that's expansion? That's one of those build engine games that I have yet to touch. I mean, well, I've never played it, but I'm aware of it. Yeah, I've played it. Much, yeah, it was they they were they were experiences to say the least. They were pretty pretty interesting. Uh -huh. I remember playing them. Oh man, was it seventh or sixth grades when I played them? That was when they were fairly new. I think the only games of that kind I played were Doom 1 and Dark Forces. Ah, uh, Dark Forces, I remember that. Oh, that's right. Redneck Rampage, 1997, yep. Oh, that is old. That was 17 years ago, oof. That's how you clear street sharks. You dump a shit ton of explosives in the water. Well, you, you clear street sharks by canceling the show after one season. <laughs> so how because it's not very good. Maybe. Street shark. Who wants street sharks? <laughs> This is not how the song goes, but like I give a flying fart. Ah, ah. 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 Ah.
are they gonna see? My thoughts exactly. Now don't worry, everything was under control. I planned all of this perfectly. Gesund, <laughs> Kaj. Here's the end of the level, but that's not where we want to go. Instead, we're gonna take the secret exit. So it's time for us to do a daring jump in the fire. Yep, instead, we're gonna go to a gloomy swamp where death rides a boat. Oh, you even ride the boat. Oh yeah, that level was called Buggy Creek, and unless I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've ever played this level, so I know nothing about it whatsoever, so... Yeah, remember the carnival guy? He's found a new job. I thought, I thought you knew this game. Um, oh man, look at look at your buddy friend on the boat with you. Yep. He's like, hey guy, what's up? My prognosis is you're gonna die in this level, you fucking asshole! Hey buddy. Across the uh, river sticks. <laughs> Look at the Dracula's castle, are yeah. yeah, I gotta say, that's a pretty good mood setter for me. It's a Castlevania reference. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I hope you're not keeping your uh, money under your tongue, because that shit's gross. That's what everybody does. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> what, well, people do that? Directly, directly, do I have to explain the reference? It's for the whole thing, you know, paying, paying the riverman to cross the river sticks. You carry your money with you and some things have you placed the money under your tongue or something like that. On the corpse. Why would you? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, have money to pay the riverman. They can't... They can't just put it in the hand of the deceased? Seems like an old house or something, just because it's completely black and white. Yeah, what the fuck? This is so jarring. Street sharks, what are you doing here? There aren't any streets around here. Where we're going, we're gonna make our own streets. That's how we <laughs> Proximity grenades, I'm so looking forward to not ever using them. Yeah, what the hell? This is such a weird place. I need a key. And I need a key. Okay, this is where I have to go, alright. Uh, I don't think you can go to the fireplace, or can you? Let's go and see the map in order to see where must I go next, because I need to find the spider key, but not too sure where to go. Ah. Yeah, holy shit, that one place really seems spacey. Can you go in the water? Oh, huh, okay. I can go in the water all I want. For a second, that just because uh, 
those death and everything, I needed to stay clear of the water, but nah, it's just a thing. Oh. I got sandwiched between sharks. Oh, damn, I, mean, I didn't mean to ski up the up. Oh, okay. I need a key. Hello. Hi. I'm here to kill aliens. Alright. Uh, we're, we're watching uh, Psyche play blood uh, in the meantime. No. Get away from me, you monster! I'm just trying to use the toilet in peace. God damn it. Oh, what did I walk into? Psyche is playing blood. Why is there a toilet? Because it's uh, 90s FPS and they have to be gross and put poop sh jokes everywhere. So like this top part game. Well, well, it's a poop shoot. I, it's more like, I don't know. Not like it's... the South Park game because there isn't an achievement for joining the KKK. Yes. <laughs> because it's just trying to be gross and not offensive. That's no, much. I can't fucking believe that. We're not gonna be offensive. Hell no. Uh, it's it's a it's a provocating humor in a different way. I gotta say, however, I'm not a fan of having to use the map just in order to find my way through the woods. Oh, yeah, but you've never done this level. Uh, okay, where the hell did you come from? Holy shit! This whole freaking house is so starving. Oh. oh, Spider Queen! Hello! I am actually not gonna bother fighting you because you're boring as hell. Oh no, I have to fight the spider! I'm locked in now. Come on, delay! Just dump the gasoline and set it on fire. Uh, that's pretty much what I ended up doing, so I'm not too far from the truth. But it still doesn't help because I'm still locked in and I can't seem to find a way out of here. So, what exactly is this game about? Uh, well, it's about, well, the initial storyline of this is pretty much you were cast aside by a dark god because you're no longer the chosen, and for some unknown reason you're brought back to life in order to go and kill him, and that's pretty much what it is. No real story, nothing, you're just here- OH MY GOD, WHAT THE FUCK IS THIS?! It's, oh dear. It's the Shark Convention! Holy Street shit. Sharks! Alright. I mean, these enemies are not really dangerous, but it's more the fact that whenever they <laughs> just start doing <laughs> those. Holy shit! Yeah, whenever they start doing those crazy noises, that's when they start being more intimidating. Oh dear, that's a lot of them. Alright. Other fucking street sharks. Yeah, more like penguins with shark heads. Wow, they die easily. Well, they're not really tough enemies per se, and now we can ride a boat to the end of the level. Jawsome! Jawsome! Jawsome? Jawsome? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, uh. Oh my. Actually, is that on YouTube? Alright, here we go. Now we're going to the next level! Finally! We're leaving Buggy Creek in order- Oh, holy shit, I got everything! Thank you for having zero secret level. So, what is this level? 
Oh, they couldn't hi they couldn't hide anything in the forest. Yep. Wait, holy shit! That's awesome! Depending on which level you access this level from, you start at a different location. Because I came from Boggy Creek, I start here, but if I left from the other level, I would have started at this gate instead. I gotta say that's pretty damn clever. Pretty uh, good branching, the detail. Branching paths. Well, In a not 90 really, shooter. but still, I like the detail. Wait, how the hell did they die so quickly? What the hell was up with that? Oh, you found a secret. Danger! So, yeah, I guess this level is pretty much the episode 2 kinda like level, except that this is not a level for people that suffer from vertigo. Holy shit. Does vertigo affect you when you're playing a video game? Sometime, yeah. There honestly was some part of the Dark Souls where I would try not to look down because otherwise I would start getting dizzy. Huh. Mirror's Edge was a little rough sometimes. I guess I get vertigo, but not in a video game. Oh, Billy. Uh, ah, Jesus Christ. You must use this limited invisibility for something. Oh, I need a key. Like, it's a wimpy kind of vertigo. It's not like real vertigo. It's like vertigo light. Diet <laughs> vertigo. I, I mean, I can't really... I have... I do get vertigo when I'm on top of a building, and I, do, I shouldn't look down, but in a video game, I don't uh, care. Let me guess. The key's right here. Yeah, that seems like a crossover between... A mountain range and a whole, and it's pretty much so, a sort of industrial complex. Uh, oh, okay, can't open. Oh yeah, I probably should try using these uh, explosives a little bit. All right. I think that's the first in me in the entire game that I've killed using proximity nines. Alright, so how do you get to the computer station which is over here? Why? You use a forklift! Ah, uh, you shoot stuff. Yeah, I totally forgot that you had something like that. Once again, the Coming from a build engine, that's really, really cool. Man, were all these games in the 90s very, um, dreary? Yes. The answer is decidedly yes. <laughs> okay, where the hell does that lead? Ah, okay. That's not where I need to go. Uh, wait, is this here? Ah, okay. Now I can open this one gate. And now I can use the elevator. Okay, as much as some of the early levels were kind of switch hunt, I gotta say, as you progress more and more to the episode, this eventually ends up being fixed. Oh my god, another color? Oh, no, wait, never mind. I don't want that. Ah, Jesus Christ, die, you frickin' spiders. I threw a TNT on your face and that was not even enough. Finally got the first key of this level. Wait, wait, is that where I wanted to go? 
Uh, oh no! <laughs> Come on, delay! <laughs> I totally fucked this up! <laughs> Are you stuck? Yes, I am! Oh no! Alright, can somebody Google me uh, how to go clip in this cake by chance? <laughs> Can you even no clip in this? Uh, normally you can. Usually there's like a cheat code for every single one of these uh, 90s FPSs. Wow, I am the best at this game. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back, hold on a bit. Um, a cheat code Eva Galley. Okay, how do you type that? Um, E V A. E V A. Space. Yep. Um, G A. Two L's I. On clip. Uh, oh. Uh. Oh dear. Uh, wait. Uh, ah. Okay, I think I finally got it. All right. Wasn't that an anime? Alright, thank you, Rainy. Problem solved. I don't know if it's related to that. Whoa, okay. Uh. What a surprise. Failing a jump in this level kills you. What will. No, it's. It's a reference to a novel. Why is there so many machine gun cultists in this level? Oh, yes. Oh no, actually that cave is where I came from. Oops. More question, Lee, why are, does the cultist have machine guns? Because... That's pretty much the modus operandi of this game, Grassland. Because... So you have to understand that the 90s, most games are just like a peak video game. I feel kind of sad that I missed out on PC video games. Yeah, that was the one time in video game where games did not need to make any rhyme or reason. They didn't need stories or characters with names. Well, there were characters with name, but usually they were more included as an afterthought. Yeah. Alright, so what's gonna be our name for a character? We're just gonna call him... Fart cake. Here we go, now we can get this game gold. I don't know, that's not heavy metal enough. I mean, Crash Bandicoot's original name was Sonic's ass. <laughs> seriously? <laughs> uh, seriously, when they were designing Crash... Well, here's the thing, when they were designing Crash Bandicoot, it was gonna be like the very first 3D platformer. Serious 3D platformer. Uh, cause Mario 64 hadn't even been unveiled yet. And they were thinking about, so what would a 3D platformer entail? And they thought, well, you'd spend a lot of time looking at Sonic's ass. And so, instead of 3D platformer, they called it a Sonic's ass game. <laughs> okay. The Sonic ass simulator. After truck simulator, we have ass simulator. Also, did you know that there are only three textures on the entirety of Crash Bandicoot's model. That sounds about Where the are they? For, that sounds about par for the hit for the time. The spots on his back and uh, one each for his shoelaces. Do you have a PhD in Crash Bandicoot? No, there's a website that has like the entire making of the original Crash Bandicoot and okay. it's really interesting. Huh. But yeah, Crash Bandicoot is entirely colored polygons except for the spots on his back and his shoelaces. Alright, so we need a key, so we're with the twenty two. We gotta walk on those tiny ledges. Just however I gotta say that's kind of a lazy key to put. Oh, and of course there's a welcoming committee. And we're never gonna see them again. Goodbye, jerks. 
think the only games I had on my Mac at that time was Heroes, My Magic, and The Sims, and SimCity. Mac like gaming. the original SimCity? Like the one on MS DOS? 2000. SimCity oh, 2000 Sim owns! Oh, yeah. Those yeah. Are really I still remember yep. whenever. Uh, I still remember whenever the the remake of SimCity got made, good old game actually went to the effort of going like, Hey, you want a, Sims, a great SimCity game that has no DRM? Hey, you know, you could play this game instead, SimCity 2000. <laughs> GRG seems to be the master of trolling people. Ironically, uh, since SimCity the game was so fucking broken, that was probably a better game to play anyway. Oh, okay. Would like, that... quality aside, at least you'd be playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to not even being able to, because the servers are broke. I think it might fix that, I don't know. Oh yeah. Well, there's an offline they... mode now. Yeah. After spending all of that time saying, Oh, you know, there cannot be an offline mode because we need the server to do calculation stuff. And well, yeah, because the game was built around online, online and then it turns out it wasn't. Yep. It it's, was it's just the, the cloud. RM. The, the cloud. It was all a lie. The city's dying, cloud! The city's dying, cloud. Final Fantasy Scottish Drop Edition. Ah, no, shit, I must cloud. not miss my platform back. This, however, I'm not a fan of this part. <laughs> Gotta ride that one imaginary column that just scrolls very slowly across the chasm. I'm sorry, Oatmeal, you can't be cloudy or have been casted for Squall. I'll take it. Oh, okay. Now oh, there's another teleporter. I know I get a lot of shit because I like Final Fantasy VIII, but people seem to misunderstand. I don't like uh, any Final whoa. Fantasy for the story. The Final Fantasy stories are uniformly terrible. I like Final Fantasy VIII because you can break it over your knee. The, the story of six is alright. No, it's terrible. You're terrible. <laughs> your mom's terrible. Mr. I love Final Fantasy VII for the story. Bye bye spider. That's terrible. You won't be missed. You told me at PAX, you told me you love me. You, you you started a big rant, a big speech about how great that story is. No, that was that was decidedly Zader. No, that was you. That was decidedly that Zader. That was you. You spoke to me about how Final Fantasy VII is great. Oh god, I kinda don't like how come this entire place is so wide open. It just just screams like, okay, there's going to be a boss here. You were playing it on your Vita! <laughs> yeah, I was having fun because I was breaking it. No, it's seven. Yeah, I was breaking it. You were... <laughs> it's up. not as breakable as eight, but it's still pretty breakable. You were talking... Uh, you were praising the story. Pretty sure that was Zader. Pretty sure that was you. Uh, Why'd you ask Zader? Sure. Wait, how do I go back up now? Now, if we ask uh, Zayder, oh, we won't okay. we won't know because he's not gonna remember that. All right, this is the mountain range of. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Every video game story is terrible. So more terrible than others? No, they're all just uniformly terrible. Every I... story. In I'm the history of stories. Lines, however, and vampire the masquerade blood. Every story in the history of stories is terrible. Citizen Kane, I, terrible. I, I don't know, I think Earthbound is okay. Earthbound, terrible. War and Peace, terrible. I I, I can't talk to you anymore. Hamlet, Hamlet's fucking Hamlet, awful. Hamlet, fucking bullshit. <laughs> Seriously, what's up with Ophelia? Get a grip, home girl. Okay, so I just press on the touch play. Okay, I need to go back here. There's gonna be a teleporter. Yeah, that's a hella weird level. How exactly do you design a level like that? Drugs. Nah. Butts. You gotta design it with the love of your butt. Nothing is designed with drugs. 
Okay, the level stats say that I cheated, but as everybody will see, it was completely uh, legitimate. No, you should have reloaded. I'm sure that's what the game designers would have said. Uh, well, but I didn't yeah. really remember when was my last save, so I didn't really want to have to replay through possibly a huge part of level. Fucking but casuals. <laughs> Says the king of casuals. Yep. Gotta finish, uh, gotta finish Mega Man Unlimited, otherwise you'll be the king of all casuals. The king of cash. One day, maybe. Do I have to bring my laptop with me to PAX and make you play it? No. It's, it's alright. Ah. So, yeah, apparently I, I decided to start this stream with like two hours of. Uh, of buffer, but holy shit, this is way longer than I thought it would be. I need a key. Yeah, you have like, uh, you have like five minutes left. Okay, so what the hell was the point of that pit? Wait, wait, did that pitchfork set that dude on fire? I have no clue why there was a bottomless pit here, but uh, I figure we'll go along with it for the time. Mm. Did you die? I need a key. Yep. He died. He dead. I died the way that I live. Like a magnificent baby. Like a French Canadian? Uh, my guy is not French Canadian. He's well, he is Canadian. now. <laughs> The guy is you, Psych. You're playing the guy. I wanna be the guy! Wow! Wow! We don't talk about that game. Not that guy. That's the wrong guy. Okay, so it's like it. Did they ever make a nice. second game of that? A whole lot of things. I see a whole lot of luck doors, but I don't really see. Something to do in a 90s FPS? Uh, usually, blood is too clever for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> By the way, who made this game? Uh, this one Monolith. Like, yeah, Monolith. The game was. Seriously? Yeah. Yep. I'm huh. pretty sure this was one of their earliest games. They also made uh, No One Lives Forever, which is an amazing game. So good. So good. Such a good game. Make it good. Yeah. Hecka good. It is. It is their first game on the Wikipedia page. I need a key. Where, fuck? Where must I go? I don't understand this level one second. Did I miss something at the start? Oh. Oh. God damn it. What well, is no one live forever? A James Bond game? Yeah. Uh, sort of. Uh, sort of. It's in the I'm, James Bond style, but you play as just I'm, an original character. Do not. Speak. I'm looking. I'm looking at the cover art, and like the name, sounds like a James Bond name, but it's it doesn't look like a James Bond game, exactly. Is that the one with the woman? Yeah, you play as a lady. I don't remember her name. I don't really remember much about that game. I remember it being fun though. Kate Archer. Yeah, that was it. Archer. 
the original oh, archer. Oh, hello! It's the first time I've seen you this episode. Choking ends. The original oh, duchess. <laughs> the original duchess. Okay. Oh, crushers! Okay, do I have to... Uh, oh, no. I think you need to stop this before... Or do you... Yeah, I think you need to stop this conveyor belt first. Let us shoot it. Generally, problems in this game require a little bit more than bullets and violence. Oh, okay. You speak of lies. Okay, that ghost kind of attacked me out of nowhere. Huh? All right. You we killed go. yourself. You killed yourself again. <laughs> oh god, I think you have a little bit of delay. Maybe. Ah, okay. That was the same. Or maybe I'm having one of those episodes again. Welcome to this episode where we are going to see something. Oh my goodness. I need a key. Ba -ba -do -ba -ba -do -ba -ba -do. I'm the scat man. See, Baba Baba. Ba -ba 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 do you, do you, do you just, you know, when. When they just having static snow on the TV, do they just record you for the sound? If only that was the case, I would be happy. It's like, instead of hearing... You hear... <laughs> Is there still even TV snow these days? I'm not sure. Honestly, with the yet... Uh oh. Congrats. Honestly, with the advent of HDTV, I'm indeed not really sure if uh, snow on the TV is still a thing. Oh, my HDTV does snow if there's no channel. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't have cable. I don't have anything. We don't watch TV. Yeah, instead you watch Same. movies in this world. And Star Trek. <laughs> well, I don't watch Star Trek, but... Honestly, what's the point of having cable when you just get it online? Instead of paying for a cable subscription, I pay for MMO subscription. <laughs> <laughs> you should join us for Fancy Star. I'm already playing two MMOs. Which one? Uh, Warcraft and Final Fantasy. Don't you want to be friends with Tiny Pink Butler Bot? Tiny Isn't... Tiny I thought... Butler, but... I thought Final that the Fantasy... That's the thing that I heard. No. I thought, I thought Fantasy Star Online was not translated. Kinda, sort of. It's kind of a legal gray area. But isn't okay. that game on Steam, however, or it's just no. a high tier Steam? Uh, Final no, Fantasy XIV is on Steam. Uh, Fantasy Star is not, because it is Japan okay, only. Okay, so what exactly did that uh, monolith do? Oh. Is that it? It, it, um, oh, it improved the human race. <laughs> Haven't you not seen 2001? That's what happens. It's a pretty red movie. Story sucks, though. Okay, Good. So I, I got the high key, so I think we are ready to leave this place. I think maybe you're saying story sucks to everything. Every story is trash. Except Fucking Fantasy 7. 
Fucking the Hamlet, he's such a hack. Oh hey, we got a minecart. I mean, who the fuck cares about Shakespeare? Um, Come on, are you are you that from more concerning me no clipping in the past of all game? Now it's telling me that I cheated. Oh, holy shit, we have a minecart ride. Okay, maybe that was a pretty maybe bad to start this level. So here we go, last level of the of the episode, fittingly enough, titled Castle. Uh, we're two minutes late, psych. Yeah. Or you can start without me, Han. I'll join you whenever I'll be done. I should be done in like ten minutes or something. Okie dokie. Now she'll go in and yell at Ragni about being space aliens. Yeah, you better tell him to tr to treat your character. I am a god. Says Sonic in that one creepy fanfiction. You know, she says that, but Ragni two weeks ago had a heck of a time. Oh. <laughs> also, Jesus Christ, this one guy is all over the place. Now he found a job as the mascot of the castle. It's a good job. <laughs> I'm not gonna alone, even fall in the water. Right. How did you survive three dynamites in the water, you frickin' analogy of bottles? And don't ask me what an analogy of bottle is, I can't really answer you, and Jesus Christ, this is <laughs> dark as hell. Now we can finally see a little bit better, but man, right now this is kind of washed out. Okay, here we go. Perfect medium. Okay, I gotta say that's a pretty looking castle. Looking forward to storming this place. Oh, okay. That one guard seemed to have really faulty vision for a second. I was right in his face, but he was not even moving. Alright, why don't you have a flight into the cliff? got a nice fire call with an axe on it, and finally a picture of a spider. What else do I need? Oh, a skull with an axe? Sounds like my kind of hangout. <laughs> oh, and they even got little visitors in order to entertain guests. Right. For some reason, this level has some uh, ambient noises going in the background, even though that you can barely hear them at all because of the music. That's what we in the industry like to call immersion. If anything, I wonder if they so much of all right to the music for this. <laughs> I have limited invisibility and I'm shooting people in the face. Why am I being noticed? <laughs> yeah, I think that one uh, 
video with DSP playing Deus Ex uh, Human Revolution left us cover. <laughs> it, it was just that bad. I kind of remember the boss fight being What's the boss? Uh, you will see. And that said, I can already say to you one thing. This is not an original boss fight because they could not design the enemies for the game. But they definitely did something. Oh, is it all the bosses? Nah, the game already did that. Oh. Is it like... Ten of all the street Starks! <laughs> we already had that one boss. Right, ten street sharks. That was a good boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite boss. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like the one not even on water, but on foot. Oh, hello. Alright. It's time for the fat breakfast. Holy shit. So, did I need to... What the hell's up with the roof? That's definitely a thing. Yeah, as can everybody can tell by my commentary, I sure remember everything about this game. And I still needed to shoot it like six times with the shotgun for it to die. So I'm just gonna go and guess that this weapon doesn't do anything. Where I'm shooting, I'm gonna shoot something eventually. <laughs> wow, that. <laughs> you spent like 10 minutes trying to set that imp on fire, and they're like, nope, shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> Good note of that uh, 
of that invulnerability. I'm gonna save it for whenever I'll need it. <laughs> oh, I swear I'm not needing it. I am absolutely not panicking right now. Sure about that one? Absolutely. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna forget about it. Alright, let's go gun blazing or spray can blazing. Those doges. Well, oh, come on! That poor doge, why are they string it up? I guess that's because it's a giant dog or something. <laughs> it's a pretty big dog, yeah. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. And certainly are no choke. Okay, so what's next? I have an eye key, but I haven't figured out where it goes yet. Oh, did I go there? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's the master living room of the dog. Alright, I hope that people are not gonna mind too much backtracking because I'm not really sure where I must go anymore. Oh, it's right over here. Let's go into the barrel like door. Oh, okay. That seems a pretty inviting and foreboding place. Yeah! Oh god. some more keys apparently because I'm still missing one key in order to make sure to press oh no I'm missing two keys holy shit this level is still far from over oh let me guess spider door so that means it's obviously going to be a spider boss not even sure why I'm bothering to kill that spider out of it, but eh. I'm not really in a hurry anymore, so let's just bounce the spider all over the place and here we go. That's all that we needed to do. Oh my <laughs> Okay, I didn't see that in the Empire episode and I gotta say the one moment that they appear, holy shit, that's a surprise! Alright! 
Oh, wow, Jesus. Oh my god, there's a third one! Are you fucking kidding me? It's like, what the hell? The one door earlier was like, oh, we're just gonna throw in one spider boss. But you go in the next one and holy shit, it's the gates of hell with three fucking gargoyles. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, let's get this door open, shall we? Okay, boss fight, boss time. Oh well, this is actually pretty foreboding. Are you really, are you ready to go in the toilet bowl of fun? Yeah, holy shit. Whoa, holy shit, where the hell are we? I totally don't remember that. Okay. We just took a we just took a space travel through the confines of the universe in order to get ready for this boss fight. Why did you jump into that toilet? Ah, because that's where you need to go. It's still a toilet. Yeah, but it's a stellar toilet that leads you in outer space. say this episode just keeps on surprising me more and more. Okay, so now I have full supplies. Oh god, okay. I have the feeling it's not Ooh, going to be easy. This looks extraordinarily What? Okay, So yeah, that's your boss. Two dogs. Two dogs. And here we go, the boss fight is over. Thank god we had Gunna Kim. Hoo-wee! Ah, uh, and if I had took the time to investigate a little bit, I would have found some more Tesla gun ammo. Oh! God damn it! Double dog. It's like there was a freaking invulnerability power up hidden in the battlefield. Oh well, I didn't need it. I need a key. Uh, wait. <laughs> didn't I get the key? Oh no, I still need a fire key. Oh, that's right. Here we go. The other dog had a key. You kill the two dogs and you finally exit the level. And that's it. That's the end of the episode. Good night, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> and here we have a magnificent cutscene. And the game has its own credit sequence into the, the video itself because I think otherwise they will not have been able to put that in the game. <laughs> it's just too bad that, well, because of the low video quality, I can barely read any of the names. Yeah, be sure to try our other great head on level packs like Duke It Out in DC. And that's it. We have completely managed to play our way through the entire Game of Blood. All four episodes, the Plasma Pack, as well then the unofficial sequel episode, which still kind of fits in into the Blood Canon. I think it was acknowledged in another game someplace, but then again, I don't really know it too well, so... Yep. Anyway, that was it for Blood, so thanks to everybody for watching, thanks to everybody who have tuned in in order to talk about whatever they wanted to talk about, and thanks to all of you for viewing the stream. So I hope you enjoyed it, and well, thank you again, so see you all until another stream of something.